Hey Internet, it is time for another planner related video and today I thought I would go through some of the tools I use in planning. More specifically, I wanted to go through my favorite pens. I might rope in a couple other items as I go along. So I hope you find this video useful. I'm personally super, super picky about the sort of pens and stationery I use. Even though I love to collect, I am a sucker when I see a set of pens or watercolors or pencils or anything. I just want to get the whole set. Without further ado, I'm just going to get right into it. So the first pen I want to talk about is this one. And if you watch my Plan With Me videos, you probably see this a lot. It is probably my favorite pen to use. Definitely in my Erin Condren and I would say for note taking reasons as well, even though I don't take this particular pen to work. I have a similar one here, same brand, it's just a three pen, what do you call them? It's just a three in one pen rather than a single pen, but this is the one I use the most. I'm going to zoom you guys in just a bit so I can show you. This particular pen is only in black and then I've got red, blue and black in this pen. What I love about these is that they are ballpoints. I love ballpoint pens. I feel like they write a lot easier than most other pens. I find that they don't leak or bleed into the paper and I think I find them just really, really neat. And the thing I love about these ones is that they're 0.38, so they're really fine. I am obsessed with fine tip pens. The finer, the better, in my opinion, as you can see. And you've probably seen this a lot of times, but yeah, it's pretty fine. And being ballpoint, I find it works really well for most surfaces. I love, like I said, I like using this on Erin Condren and most of the stickers I use in Erin Condren. The only stickers these don't work on are the true vinyl stickers. So I'd say from... The only one I know of is Libby & Co right now and I think Sweet Quiet Design may have turned over. I'm not sure. I haven't tried her new stickers yet but these don't write on that at all. So as a result I just don't really buy their planner stickers like the ones which you'd write on but I still love their iconography stickers instead. So this is probably my favorite pens of all time and I use them extensively. The other pens I find myself using a lot are these ones. They're all from the same brand. The the Pilot High Tech C Coletto and basically they're quite customizable. So I put all these ones together. You basically get the empty tube and then you just pick which pens you want to put in. Ones like this you get a set of like 12 colors and then the shell and then you just put in the colors you want to use and you can switch them out. It's pretty awesome. I love 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 the Coletto series. These however are gel pens so they are not ballpoint so they do have a tendency to bleed through really really thin paper. I I'm just trying to think. I don't think I really have any paper so thin that it bleeds through. The only one that I would say I do have is very thin is my Hobonichi planner, but the paper is such amazing quality. It doesn't bleed through more that you can see through, if that makes sense. So I try to use ballpoint for my Hobonichi planner or just watercolor because sometimes I treat it more like an art book, depending which one I'm looking at. For this range, I tend to go for 0.4 in terms of the fineness of the tip or 0.3. In this case, I've got a 0.4 in here with a pencil. So that's the other thing. You can put a pencil in instead or this one a 0.3. So just to give you an example, I, uh, oh, I can't spell. Okay, I'm just gonna put hello. I was <laughs> thought I'd be smart and write something interesting, and then I thought, you know what? Don't worry about it. Uh, there we go. So it's a pretty obvious difference between the 0.4 and the 0.3, even though it is literally 0.1 of a millimeter difference. But it makes a big difference, and I, I like both. Like 0.4 is pretty fine. I still prefer 0.3 oops if I can. <laughs> I still prefer 0.3 in most circumstances but sometimes pens can get a bit too fine when especially when I'm writing notes for people and their vision may not be so great so I like to stick to a 0.4 so I like to keep both in my collection because I like to inter... inter... <laughs> what's the word? I like to swap between the two and these two are 0.4 and I just love these ones because obviously you can carry multiple colors in this. This one has four, this has three, but I think you can get ones with five. I think five is the maximum, but so this is a two and this is three, three and four. And I mean, they're so cute, right? You can get lots of different designs and I love that the little, um, these little things are wings rather than just little knobs or anything. So it's just, I love it. It's so cute. 
So I love these just even for their aesthetics, but they write really well. I don't find that the ink skips at all, at least that's not been my experience. Same with the ballpoints. Sorry, I don't know if I mentioned these, but these are the Uni Jetstream pens. I don't find the ink skips on either one. So these two are kind of my favorite types of pens to use. They're really great quality. And the best part about these is that you can keep the barrels and then just switch out the inks when you run out. So you don't need to buy a whole new pen. Continuing on the theme of pens, the other pen I will use occasionally are these ones. So this is the Hobonichi Techo pen. When you order some, I'm not sure which planner, but I think if you order any of the planners, they automatically come with these three barrel pens. I think these are 0.5, so these are pretty much as thick as I'm willing to go in terms of pens. These are all ballpoints, and that kind of gave me the idea that I think Hopnichi expects you to use ballpoint pens with their planners. I mean, I could be completely wrong, and gel pens still work, but I much prefer to use ballpoint. I love how smooth these write. None of the ink skips. It's really comfortable to use. But again, at 0.5, it's a bit too thick for my liking. So I don't tend to use this for my Erin Condren or any of my planners that I want to look nice. But I do tend to use these at work, just for scribbling notes and stuff like that because I don't really mind too much. So beside from that, I actually do really love these. This is the 2015 version. There is a 2016, which is an all yellow pen. But I mean, I still have hardly used this one, so I don't see the need to open up a 2016 pen just yet. So in terms of felt tip, these are probably the two felt tip pens I use. I'm not a massive fan of using felt tip because they do tend to bleed. They're very inky and I am not a huge inky pen sort of person. I have tried using them quite extensively at work to take notes to see if I could really get into it and I'm just I'm just not a fan I don't know why but I still keep them around because occasionally it does make sense to use felt tip pens for example if I'm writing say notes or cards or anything like that I find felt tip is a lot better because the fonts are much bolder so it's much easier to read and scan especially if you're using it for like name tags and stuff like that it just makes a lot more sense so I like these two. This one is the Statler Triple Plus Fine Liner in black. This is probably the easiest one for me to get because I just pick it up from Office Works. This one, however, I got in a mystery kit from Scribble Prints. It's the Le Pen, a Japanese brand. But yeah, I haven't actually seen these one at Office Works. Oh, and if you're curious, I got most of these online. These two, and I think these two I got from jetpens.com. And then these four I actually got in Taiwan, but you can still get these in, I think there's a tokyopens.com. I'll link all the stores down below so you can check them out, but pen shopping online is probably one of my favorite things to do. I have a bunch of pens that I keep on my desk, but I don't necessarily use all of them, and I thought I would just walk quickly walk through them. So this one is the Uniball Signal. And the only reason I keep this around is because it's white. And sometimes I have stickers which are really dark and so black doesn't turn up, like the writing for black doesn't turn up, so I need to use a white pen. I mean, I'm not a huge fan of this one because I think it is point, point something. It's pretty thick, like it says point 0.1 and I sincerely doubt that because the ink that comes through feels like a point 0.7. So it is very thick, but I have yet to find a thinner version of this. If you guys know of a fine tip white pen, let me know. I would love to find it, but I just have not been successful. These ones admittedly sit on my desk because they look pretty, but I actually don't really like writing with them. I'm not a fan of the pen gems and I don't really know what this one is crown. I got this off eBay. They look really nice. Like, I'm not gonna lie. They are gorgeous pens, but I don't like writing with them. They're both ballpoint, but they're 0.5 and I find that the ink skips for me, so I tend to ignore them. And then these ones, this is just a random collection of pens that I get in monthly subscription boxes because sometimes they'll include a pen with stickers or paper or whatever. And it's always kind of, they're all really similar in that they're all gel pens, they're 0.5 and they're black. But they all vary in quality quite substantially, so sometimes they work really well, There's sometimes some are comfortable, some are less comfortable, some skip the ink a little bit, some don't. They're hit and miss. I don't really know why it's so hit and miss, but I keep them anyways because I don't like throwing pens out. I like, like, there's nothing more satisfying than finishing off a pen completely. 
I feel like it's the same with makeup products. When you finish it, hit pan, you finish your product, you feel like you've gotten your money's worth and you just feel, it just is so satisfying. So that's the same reason I keep these pens on. I still use them for scribbling notes and stuff like that, but I don't use this for journaling at all. Okay, I'm gonna move on to pencils. These are the three that sit on my desk, but if I was very honest, this is the one that I use the most. This is the Pentel 120A3. It's a point three. These are all point threes as well, but this just feels really comfortable in my hands. Like I feel like I can write really easily with this. No real issues. My hands don't get sore. These ones, I don't know. They feel sore. And I just feel like I can get really great precision with this because the tip is just so pointed. Even though this one also has a pretty fine tip, but it I'm not sure why. I mean, this one is just my favorite. I just love writing with it, sketching with it. It's just my favorite. It's very light. I feel like these other ones are heavier. My hands feel sore at the end of it. So that's just a personal preference. The only problem is these look so much cuter. I know it sounds completely superficial, but they do, they look cute. This one, I mean, it's not a very attractive pen, but it just works for me better, so that's the reason. I know this isn't really a pen, but I wanted to talk about it anyways. This is my watercolor brush that I use, and it's the only one that I use right now because I'm not really an expert in watercoloring, and I just do it for fun, so I feel like just one brush is enough. What I love about this is that you fill it up with water here, and then when you do paint, the water just automatically comes through. So for example, this is my watercolor kit at least my main one. I have a couple, but this is probably the main one I travel with, and it is so easy on the go to just dip it in the paint, and if I don't want to use the color anymore, I usually have a tissue or a serviette with me, and I'll just run the color through until the water clears it, and then switch to the next color. So it's amazing. This pen is so, so amazing. The tip is all very dark now because I've used it quite extensively, so I have considered replacing it with another one, but I mean, I don't really see the need because it still does what it needs to do. I haven't had any issues with it, so I just, I'm a fan of keeping things right up until they don't work anymore. I don't like throwing nice, I don't like throwing things out that still work, so. But I don't know whether I might just get a second one just in case this stops working. So I think that's pretty much it for my pens. I mean, there are other tools that I use, but it is pretty standard. You know, your standard scissors, your whiteout. I have recently started using this undo, which is amazing. If you are in Australia and you wanna get this, go to Bunnings. They're only like $11, like $10.95 or something like that. They work amazingly well at removing stickers. They're just really, really good. It doesn't wear out the stickiness of stickers. Like if you remove a sticker with it and the sticker is still perfectly adhesive, like it still has enough adhesive to be reused again. So I definitely think it's worth it. But those are pretty much my main tools for planning. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, at least didn't find it too boring. <laughs> I'd love to know if you guys have favorite tools that you think I would really love because obviously I am addicted to buying stationery. I am, I just, it's one of those things, I think we all feel it. You just love to get new stationery, try new pens, collect pens, all that sort of stuff. It's just the best. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys are having an amazing week. This is Selena reporting from my room. Back to you internet. Music